Just over a year ago, you tweeted, quote, New York City will remain a sanctuary city under an Ad Adams administration. What is your message to migrants arriving in the U.S.? Should they still come to New York City? Well, I think that they should come to any place in the country that they desire uh, their pursuit of the American dream. You, you pledged uh, during your campaign to uh, keep New York City a sanctuary a city. Are, do you have any concern that that, that policy uh, is, 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 for, is attracting more people to the border, more people to cross the border to make that dangerous no. trip? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, the city has always been a sanctuary city, and we've always managed those who wanted to come to uh, New York City to pursue the American dream. In the next few weeks, we'll be opening a large humanitarian emergency response and relief center on Randall's Island that will safely house hundreds of people who have found themselves in New York City at their long journey from our southern border. I will be there to welcome them and to stay with them, to hear their stories. But unless we take immediate action, that center will be full in days, and we will have to open another and another and another, even as winter weather arrives. As a result of that reality, today I am declaring a state of emergency in the city of New York. New York City has already done more than nearly any other city to support this influx of asylum seekers. And we cannot deprive longtime New Yorkers of support and services, even as we address the needs of these new arrivals. It's not sustainable. New Yorkers are angry. I am angry too. We have not asked for this. There was never any agreement to take on the job of supporting thousands of asylum seekers. This responsibility was simply handed to us without warning as buses began showing up. There's no playbook for this, no precedent. We have not asked for this. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Brett, 